Hey everybody, um, I am doing my eight week pregnancy vlog from um, my phone today because my son thought it was a good idea to play with my laptop and since it's like a super thin laptop, um, he tried to open the lid and then he leaned on it and like opened the screen and he leaned on it and he broke the screen off. So the, the screen part and the keyboard part are totally detached. So um, that's in the process of getting fixed, but um, they told me it's going to take about a month. So I'm guessing the next like four videos are going to be from my phone, which kind of sucks. But um, so anyways, I had to um, watch one of my old videos to get all my questions because they're saved on my computer and I don't have my computer. Um, hopefully I didn't forget any. But um, so this week I am eight weeks and zero days today, and I have 32 weeks left, give or take. Um, baby's the size of a raspberry. Um, my due date, based on ovulation, was June 19th, and then when I went to the ER, they switched it to um, June 21st, which I didn't like. And then I had another appointment last night, and they switched it back to June 18th, which makes me feel better because it's like I know when I ovulated, I know how far along I should be. Um, my weight gain. So early in my pregnancy, as you guys know, I gained three and a half pounds, like, really fast. Like, I gained three in a week, and then I kind of just stayed there. And then this last week, I lost a pound and a half of that. So I'm up two pounds pre-pregnancy, which makes me feel a lot better because I didn't want to like be gaining like so much weight so early on because I know I'm going to be gaining a lot in the end. Um, I gained 60 with my son and I don't want to gain 60 this time. So being at two pounds plus is good for now. Um, maternity clothes, I'm still basically just wearing yoga pants. They're comfortable. Um, they fit. <laughs> My jeans still fit, but they're kind of tight, and when I'm sitting in jeans, I start getting cramps really bad. So I've been living in yoga pants. <laughs> but all my shirts and stuff fit, and I haven't bought anything new this week. Stretch marks are the same as they've been. Um, haven't got any new ones. My old ones haven't got any darker. Sleep. <sighs> I've been sleeping good. I wake up really tired, but that goes away after being up in the day. Um, but I'm pretty much comfortable when I'm sleeping, so sleep is good as of now, and I'm taking advantage of that and trying to get as much as I can. Um, best moment this week was yesterday. We got to see Bean again, and we got to hear the heartbeat for the first time which was amazing. Um, baby grew so much in the six or seven days between the two ultrasounds. Um, the very first one was just this tiny itty bitty blotch that didn't really look like a baby. And we couldn't hear the heartbeat because it was too early. And then this week we got to see baby and you could tell the head um, like what was the head and you could see the arms and the legs and I will show you those pictures in a minute. Um, and we got to hear the heartbeat which is 171 and everyone's saying it's a girl. <laughs> but the previous one it was 135 which would be boy and it's a really big difference so I don't know whatever you guys want to guess on that. <laughs> the worst moment this week would have to be, I guess, yesterday. It's always like the day before my video. <laughs> um, I was just so nauseous. I couldn't eat anything. Nausea is getting worse. I don't vomit. I didn't vomit with Jax, and I'm not vomiting with this baby. So, But the nausea is terrible, and nothing sounds good. And every time I try to eat, I start gagging and dry heaving, and it's, it's just absolutely terrible. So I think that's why I'm losing weight, because I can't eat anything. <sighs> Uh, cravings, none 
whatsoever. Nothing sounds good. I've been actually, I've been craving water. I'm like thirsty all the time, which is good because I need to be drinking lots of water and it's easy because water tastes good and it's refreshing and I love drinking water, which is weird. I've never loved drinking water before. No movement, but I have a feeling that I'm going to be feeling baby soon. We didn't see baby moving, but I guess that's something that's supposed to happen in this next week is baby's supposed to start having like arm and leg spasms. So um, a combination with the baby starting to move and the baby getting bigger and that this is my second pregnancy and I know what I'm supposed to be feeling and it's my second pregnancy. I bet I'll be feeling baby in the next couple weeks. I felt my son at 12 weeks, which everyone is saying, oh, that's so early. Nobody feels baby that early. But I, trust me, I did because I would go in for my weekly ultrasounds and I would feel baby while seeing baby. And so I knew what I was feeling was the baby because it corresponded. So I'm expecting to feel baby here soon, maybe in like two or three weeks. Symptoms, nausea, 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 nausea. I am so thankful that I'm not throwing up. Um, so I guess I'll take the nausea <laughs> over throwing up because, I mean, I'm not like eating like a pig and always hungry and gaining weight. Um, but I don't like it because one, feeling nauseous is not fun. And two, it's hard to eat. And I know I have to eat and I have to be getting those calories for the baby. And it's just hard. <laughs> Um, so, I don't know how long the nausea is going to stay, and I hope it stays about where it is or gets better, and I don't want to start throwing up. So, that, and I'm moody. Um, I get really irritable with my husband, and he <laughs> seems to sense it. I'm getting really irritable just with everybody, so, but... I'm not very fatigued, and my boobs don't hurt, and I'm not really cramping as much anymore. So, those are all good things. No believer signs, um, but I had my cervix measured yesterday. Um, and if anybody has an incompetent cervix or knows about it, um, my cervix was measuring at 3.63 centimeters, which I will take. Um, that's good. The average, like, it should be between 4 and 5 centimeters for a normal, healthy pregnancy. Um, but with my son at 19 weeks, it got down to 1.4 centimeters. It was really scary, and I was put on bed rest, and it was like, do we take the risk of putting a cerclage in at 19 weeks, or do we just keep me on bed rest? And I had weekly measurements, and it was always below a 2. And so the fact that it's at 3.6 is, like, awesome, and I'm happy about it. And um, hopefully it stays there. I'm hoping to get a cerclage. This appointment was, was really short. It was just a, a follow-up of the ER. Um, but my next Tuesday, I have an actual OB workup where um, I'll be sitting down with my OB for a while and talking to him about things like that. Um, along with, I want to see a nutritionist. Um, I want to know if I can work out. I want to get a cerclage. I, I have a whole bunch of things I have to talk to him about. So that will be next Tuesday. So my next Wednesday's update will be probably a fairly bigger one. Um, my wedding ring is on. Yes. <laughs> it's been off for I don't know how many weeks. But it's on, which is great. And because I hate... Going places and not having a wedding ring because I'm 18 years old and people look at me um, like, uh, you know, they look for a ring. Um, my son just woke up, so he's going to be coming up the stairs here any second. Um, so that's on. What do I miss? I miss being able to eat anything I want. Um, my husband and I go to Buffalo Wild Wings every Tuesday. It's kind of like a tradition. And we went yesterday and I just could not eat anything. It was sad because I love that food and I couldn't eat any of it um so I do miss that but that's the only thing I miss I love being pregnant come on baby come up here he's whining and working his way up he wakes up so slow um feelings towards pregnancy I'm excited um 
I'm like surprised at how fast this is going. Um, I feel like it was just a couple days ago that I found out I was pregnant, and that was at like three weeks and some days, and I'm already eight weeks pregnant. So it's amazing how fast it's going. Um, I'm trying to savor every moment and every day because it's gonna go by so fast. You're okay, come on. <laughs> He's laying on the floor, crying. Um, what am I looking forward to? I'm looking forward to so much. Um, but like I said, I'm trying to savor every moment of it. Um, I'm looking forward to finally showing and getting a belly. I'm looking forward to feeling the baby. I'm looking forward to being able to, you know, hopefully work out. Um, I'm looking forward to birthing class. Um, I'm looking forward to my husband's Christmas party, which is coming up. I'm looking forward to my birthday, which is in like two or three weeks. It's at the end of November. I'm looking forward to Thanksgiving because there's so many things that I'm thankful for. Hopefully I won't be so nauseous and I can eat at Thanksgiving. We'll see. Um, I'm excited for the winter and the snow that should be coming soon. I know a lot of people are getting snow already, but I'm looking forward to snow and I'm looking forward to Christmas music. We don't do Christmas until after my birthday, which is November 29th. Um, so there's no Christmas going on at our house yet. So I'm looking forward to that, um, putting up the Christmas tree and listening to Christmas music and Christmas shopping and all of that because my son is finally, you know, a year and a half old and last Christmas he was only a couple months old so he's going to be more into it this year and I'm excited for that as well. News, 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 no news. Same old stuff going on. Um. My husband lost his car keys, and we haven't been able to get in his car for a long time, and he keeps putting off ordering a new key. So, he's renting a car right now, and then we have my car, and it's just it's a hassle. Um, baby buys, no baby buys, no maternity buys. But I did do a project. Um, I made a chalkboard um, for my weekly belly photos last pregnancy I did some kind of boring ones just me just my belly it was like a bottom of my butt to bottom of my boobs um shot so it really are you trying to climb me it really wasn't that fun so this time we are doing the chalkboard and um I'm gonna grab that and show it to you guys because it has my ultrasound pictures on it right now. And then I will do a <laughs> belly measurement. Um, so let me go grab that. Okay, here's the chalkboard. So it's, that's how big it is. Um, it just says that I'm eight weeks along Baby's the size of a raspberry, which is 0.63 inches. Um, that's a bean from my ER ultrasound. And this is bean from my one last night. You can see how much bigger bean got. Um, heartbeat was 171 beats per minute. And then <laughs> this is Eric and Jackson. Plus me and the baby, which is equals four of us. I've seen a picture of people doing that, and I just needed something to add at the bottom. So that's my chalkboard, and um, pictures of that are going to be on my blog. If you don't follow my blog, it is Christine Elaine is Prego, um, with only one E, and Christine Elaine, they're stuck together, um, at Tumblr.com. And I update that so many times a day. So that's my chalkboard. Um, and then I'll measure my belly. So here's, here's my belly this week. I'm not seeing any change. I know, I know, honey. I don't know if you guys are seeing a change, but I'm not. So if you are seeing, like if you're watching my videos every week and you see that it's looking bigger, let me know, because I'm definitely not seeing it. This is the wrong side. I was like, what? 60-something inches? It's not right. 
should be 30 something. Okay. So this week we are 33 inches, which means I believe that's, it's a little over 33 inches. I believe that's half an inch smaller than last week um, and previous weeks, which I guess isn't surprising since I'm losing weight, but definitely not getting a belly. Um, I wish I'd get a belly. We'll see soon. Um, I started showing about 10 weeks, 12, 10 to 12 weeks with um, Jackson, so hopefully I will start popping soon. Anyways, I will see you guys soon.